Hi everybody, it's Marie here and welcome back to my channel. So today I really felt the need to make this video. Not sure if I'm going to get to go to any food pantries this week or not, but regardless, I need to keep you guys in the loop. So today I wanted to do a video about could you live on less than $800 a month or about $800 a month for one person or less than $1,600 a month for two people. Could you do that? So, what inspired me to make this video is I've seen other people's budgets and other people's budgeting videos. Uh, you know, you know I already watched Prepper Princess. You know that if you've been following me. Um, she's one of my most favorite YouTubers. But I thought I would do how I'm living because my situation is different from her. It's different from a lot of people. So, but with that, I'm going to say my disclaimer. Okay, I'm not a financial advisor of any kind. And I'm not going to be talking about investments and such. Okay, because I don't do those things. There are lots of people on YouTube, including Prepper Princess, who do that. They do a fantastic job. They explain it very well. And I have been following her for years. I do recommend her as one if you want to talk about investments and things. I, I can't touch that. Um, she also has a book on how she has become what she is today. It's very informative. It's, it's a very short read book, but it's very informative. Now, I'm, I don't sell her books. She sells her own books. I'm not affiliated with anyone. I am not getting paid by YouTube. I am not monetized yet. Um, I am not sponsored. So, um, yeah. So, this is just me. This is the real me. This is how it is for me and my household. You may find that you're in the same situation. I don't know. And I hope this helps you. So, after this video, though... I will break everything down further to show you how I keep some of our bills down low and what I do about it, what I have done in the past and especially in the past few months and what works for us and what work doesn't work for us. And some of the struggles that I'm having, I'll let you know. Um, I'll talk about those. But this is going to be a little bit of an informative video. I did take notes. I have written down my budget. I will show you as I go along, but I just want to break every category down to let you know how it is because a lot of people I'm sure have questions. You're running through everything in your mind. Well, why don't they do this and why don't they do that? Well, I'll explain that too. So first of all, uh, let me start off by saying our budget, like I said, is around $1,600 a month. I'm not giving exact numbers, okay? But some of these are exact numbers and some of these are not exact numbers. You can do the math. You, I'll just let you calculate it, okay? If you have any suggestions on anything, I'm open. However, that doesn't mean I can do those things because I live in a different state than most people. I live I live in the United States, but I live in a state where there are laws, rules, and regulations, and we have different programs than other people have. Some of them are similar and some of them are not, and I'm trying to be as frugal as I can. I'm trying to live as cheap as I can. And remember, I don't have any income. I am living off of somebody else's income. By the grace of God, I'm living off of their income. I don't like that, but I'm fortunate enough to have someone that can do that for me. Plus, I have other resources, people I know, relatives that I know, people that are very close to me that help me. You know, I have two sons and a daughter. They do what they can, and sometimes it might not be with money. So, you know, I do utilize as many resources around me as I can. And I've talked and talked about resources. If you don't have resources, that's where the key is. That's where you need to move to. That If you're moving, that is where you need to move to. Look up resources. 
know what's in your area. Are there Dollar General stores? Are there Dollar Tree stores? Are there cheaper stores? Are there outlet stores? Are there government um, uh, benefits? Are there, like I said, resources? Do you have relatives? Do you have friends that you can live near that would help you? I have went over that and over that, and I will still continue to do that because looking back at my roots, I noticed that is one of the biggest things. One of the biggest tips I could ever give you is resources. So I want to go ahead and get started. So remember, first of all, I live in an apartment, two bedroom, one bath, live with my son, and we are now both handicapped. So you you got to remember that. He's more handicapped than I am. Okay? He is partially in a wheelchair. So you got to think on that too because our situation, we can't just move just anywhere. Doesn't work. The doorways are not wide enough. The entryways are not wide enough. There might not be a just a flat to where you can just roll right in. There might not be a wheelchair ramp. Uh, the bathroom might not be big enough to put a wheelchair inside of to even turn the wheelchair around in. There might not be rails in the bathroom. There's so many things to that. That's a whole nother issue. But just know that my son has handicap issues. I am now disabled and I'm not working. I'm applying for benefits, but I've not been approved. So I have no income. And just remember also, my son has severe allergies. Have you ever heard of the boy in the bubble? There was an old movie about that. They told me literally he should have been the boy in the bubble again. But by the grace of God, he's not. And he has gotten older and has outgrown a few things. But he still has allergies and he still has um, health issues. And, and everybody else, there's a lot of people in this world who can't have certain things like certain perfumes and dyes and some people can't have uh, certain foods and some people just can't have uh, certain ingredients so we're that household okay and it does make it more challenging the more stuff you add that's wrong that's that makes it even more challenging so if you find yourself like us and you're trying to care for somebody else, which is what I'm trying to do. I help take care of him to the best of my ability. Now, how long am I going to be able to do that? Because I'm in my 50s. I don't know. But I do have a daughter that's handicapped as well, but she lives by herself. She's able to live by herself. So how long am I going to be able to do this? I don't know. But I'm just thankful for the and grateful and blessed to be able to do and to be able to sit here and tell you what I'm doing now and what I'm doing today and what might help you today and forward. So let's get started. So, yes, I took notes and I'll show you all this in a minute. The very first thing I always do is I always pay our rent. That's the first thing that comes out. We have to pay our rent. We are on a lease. A yearly lease so we can't just up and move if we do we have to pay as if we were still living here and last year we were going to move but we found out it costed us more to move than to stay and remember we're handicapped you can't just move anywhere and it's not that easy to find a handicapped apartment it's not and all of them are usually taken and they are they are, they are usually occupied for a number of years so keep that in mind so, um, our rent, and you're going to say, wow, that's crazy, but let me explain, is $915 plus a $3 and something fee. So, I rounded it up to $919. That's about what it is. Yes, that's a lot, but you got to keep in mind, I was working up until last year, and we were splitting the rent, which made it cheaper for the both of us to live here. When we had three people living here, at one time, it was even more cheaper for each one of us to live. Yeah, I could get a roommate, but I really don't have the room for, my, for a roommate right now. Like I said, we only have two bedrooms. Yes, I could move into the living room and give them 
my bedroom. I thought about that. Okay, that's an option. But right now, we're going to do as we can do. Um, and life goes on. We can't, we cannot just not pay the rent. And we only have a few select days at the first of the month to get that rent money in. If you don't, you are out of here. And I can't live in the car because of my legs. I can't do that. I, I'm a big person. Plus, I've had knee surgery. And, oh, I do have a, another video channel all about total knee replacement surgery and about living with arthritis. I do have a whole other channel on YouTube about that. If you're interested in that, I'll give you the link. I have not included it in any of my videos, I don't think, and I don't think I've even left it in the description box, but if I can remember to do that, I will do that for you. And you're welcome to go view it. No, I'm not getting paid on that channel either. But it's informative. If you want to know some information and how my journey was, I was honest. I was as honest as I could be about it. So if you want to know anything about it, go watch that that those videos okay um everybody is different with that too so but you got to keep in mind i have other issues as well my son also has knee and hip uh issues so living in a car that's not an option for us would we have to if we have to yeah yeah but i hope and pray we don't ever have to do that because i think it would debilitate us more since we both have severe arthritis and knee and joint problems, I think that would hurt us more. And it wouldn't really be safe to do so, especially in the wintertime, for us to do that. So, okay, so a $9.19 a month for our rent. Our utilities vary. And that's going to be another video about how, our keep, how I keep our costs down. But one thing to note about our utility bill, we do not have a gas bill for our apartment. But our electricity is separate from our rent. And our electricity, our sewer, our water, and our garbage is all on one bill. And I have gotten it down from $226 down to $186 a month. That's total for all those. That's total. And uh, it averages between 186 to 226. I think this month it's about 208 dollars total. Okay. So the income is 1600. The rent is 919. Our electricity, utilities total, water, sewage, and garbage comes to 186 to 226 dollars a month. We have internet, which is how I get my videos out. My son plays video games because that's his pastime. That's what he likes to do. And he, like I said, he's handicapped. So all he can do is watch TV. And, and I mean, yeah, he can gets up and down, does a few things. But he mostly watches TV, watches video games. He watches YouTube. I watch YouTube. I watch a lot of free apps. He watches free apps. We do subscribe to one TV app. And it's $14.99 a month. We did have more than that. We've cut them all off. We've cut them all out. Um, when, you when you're living like we're living, you have to start itemizing one thing at a time and really get down into the nitty-gritty of everything and the fine print. And you really are going to have to start seeing where you can save. Now, at one point, I did get a discount on our DSL there was some kind of um, program, and it, it, it brought our bill way down. It saved us like about 30 to 40 something dollars a month, but now they don't have that program. So now we're back up to 98, about $98 a month total for our DSL, okay? And we don't have cable. We don't have a landline phone. We don't do all those things. Then my son has a cell phone and he actually got it a while back and he is on a contract for now and he has to pay what he has to pay until that contract is up. But he is currently paying for his phone and his service at $45 a month. My phone is $15 a month. I am not on any kind of contract. My contract was fulfilled long time ago. 
Um, I am on the basic plan and I am with the same carrier as he is, but we're not on the same line. We're not on the same bill. We're not. But mine is $15. His is $45. So we've got $919, $186 to $226, $9 to $225, $225 and $15. My son has medications that are not currently, they were prescribed at one point, but it's a medication he cannot live without as a life-saving measure. And they're not currently rx so they are over the counter and they average about $28 per month for a 30 to 31 day supply. Um, gas in my car. My car is paid for. Thank you, Jesus. I'm glad. Been paid for for a very long time. I'm very grateful, thankful, and blessed. I paid for that car with my own money. It's a very old car. It's a 2012 model. It's cheap on gas. Love it. I love it. Um, it is deteriorating, but I love it. But the gas in my car, depending on how much I use it, I can fill up for around $42 a month. Sometimes that will last me a month and a half, depending on how much I drive it. And sometimes that will last me just a month. But that's still nowhere near what everybody else is paying that I've heard. It's crazy. I can't believe that a lot of people pay that much for gas. I, I just, it's, it's well, if you're working, okay, I understand. But if you're not working, you know, I, I just, I, that's one thing. And I'll tell you some tips about that, too. Um, I'll tell you how I save and the tips on that. That's, a, again, that's another, another video. Now, car insurance and renter's insurance is all in one bill. Now, let me tell you a little note about that. First of all, I had it paid up for over six months. So that's another tip for you. You pay up your bills. And I had our rent paid up for a while too. So my son has not always had to pay the rent by himself. He's not always had to do that. Okay. That's another issue. That's a, that's a whole nother story. But like I said, I paid up some of my bills and my renters, uh, my renters insurance and car insurance is one of the things that I paid up, but it is coming due like in October. I uh, have a program that I'm on and it's for safe driving and I get a discount depending on what the automo autometer reading is and my safe driving skills. So tip, if you can get on a program and drive safely and learn to drive safely, which is there's tips about that too, keep your tires balanced. Keep maintenance on your car, like oil changes, etc. Well, there's more about that. I'll get into that later. Then you can keep your bill down. You might get a discount too. But ours ranges from $125 for both car and renter's insurance on the same bill. $125 to $175 per month. Now, a lot of people says, well, why don't you just let go of your renter's insurance? I would be scared to do that. Somebody recently just told me a story about something that happened in our area. And I was like, oh, no, nah, I can't. I can't go without renter's insurance. Because me without a job and then I don't have renter's insurance. And then something happens in here. I would at least be able, you know, I would like to have the renter's insurance. So I could at least buy my son a bed. Because like I said, since we're disabled now, we can't just sleep anywhere. He has to have a bed that is level with his the back of his legs because he his legs don't bend and so having you you can't just sleep in the floor you can't just sleep on little cots that are lower than what the bed height is and currently I have to sit in certain chairs like this one that has two arms on each side so I can push off so I can get up and down I currently can't even hardly even sit on my couch it because it's lower than this chair so that's another issue. So, but anyway, we're doing the best we can with what we've got. Um, I do have a cat. 
No, I'm not letting go of my cat. My cat helps with PTSD, anxiety, and depression, which I have all three. And she's a good mouser. And she's a good watch cat. She's been so good. She has calmed me in so many ways. No, I'm not getting rid of the cat. And we don't buy expensive things for her. I had already had all of her toys and all of her scratch posts already bought up when I was working. And I've had her for a while. I'm not letting go of her. Matter of fact, it will kill. It would really just hurt me so bad if she passes. But I know it's going to happen one day. Hopefully it won't. But I know we all don't live forever. Neither do animals nor pets. But she's my baby. And um, we pay an average of $15 to $29 a month. That's not bad for her. And like I said, a lot of times it's not even $29. Like I said, it's about $15. Because I buy, buy her the cat food that I buy. It's three and a half pounds. She, sometimes she eats a little bit more than that. And I buy the cat litter. It's the low to medium grade. But I have to be careful, of course, what kind of cat litter. And so, you have to do what you have to do. And a cat is lower maintenance than most other animals. And so, I have my cat. And she's not that bad. Um, now, paper goods and cleaning supplies, bath and body, etc. It's whatever we have left over the month. If you've added up everything I've given you, it's whatever we have left over. Eating out. In the past, we used to eat out a lot when I worked. A lot. You can even ask one of my friends. She'll tell you. Almost every day, sometimes two or three times a day. Yeah, that all had to stop. Like I said, a lot of stuff had to be cut off. Cable. Cut down on phone. Cut down on groceries. No, hardly no eating out. I think last month we did get to eat out three times, but this month it's going to be zero. Um, unless we get blessed with something. Now, I will say this too. Some of those times that we ate out last month, I had old gift cards that were gifted to me that were still good. And I was able to go out to eat on those. So if you ever get gift cards, don't get rid of them. Save them for a rainy day or a bad day. Like I'm doing now. And that's how you can go out to eat. You Did you know you can also buy discounted gift cards online? Yes, you can buy gift cards at a discounted price. But yet, the balance is at the full price on the card. Yeah. I think it's something granny something. I forgot the website name. I don't even remember. But I know you can purchase them. And... I think there are ways you can earn through apps. You can get gift cards through apps. I have never been lucky enough to do that stuff. And I don't know what is legit and what is not. So I will tell you that people do that. If you do that, kudos to you. And I used to be a couponer. I don't use coupons no more because my store has low prices. And I don't think they even accept coupons there. So, I comparison shop, and that's kind of how I, I shop. And then for groceries, um, sometimes we have to buy a few things out of the money that's left over, and sometimes we don't. Um, I do get benefits. It's not a lot, but that is why also I go to the food pantries, because it rounds out our month. So... Don't be afraid to utilize those resources. That's what they're there for. I know I used to like put, you know, I was putting myself down. Like saying, why did you have to revert to that for? But now that I've been doing it and kind of have a strategy for doing it, it has helped me. I tried to get a box last week and I actually made a video and I had to delete it because... Well, number one, the lighting wasn't good. And number two, it was just, well, kind of all over the place. And I was rambling. And plus, I didn't look up and get a box last week because it wasn't time yet. There are certain rules and regulations you have to follow when you go to a food bank. 
it's not that easy. Some places only give out once a month. Some places give out every other week. Some places give out every so many days in a month, like every 15 days, 14 or 15 days. And then you might can get a box at the same place twice a month. You just have to stay on top of it. And then there's some places that I know that give out every week. So if you can form a strategy, but yet be respectful of people that are in other regions in your city so that they can get it too, then that to me, that's my tip for you. And there are some things you need to know about going to a food pantry. I think that's another video I need to do. You know, um, so I, I would like to eventually do that video. But right now I'm working on showing you guys my budget, how we're living from month to month, and how we're keeping our bills down low. So my next series of videos are going to be tips for saving money if you live in an apartment. And it also can apply to anyone living in a home. So just because I live in an apartment doesn't mean these tips can't work for you because a lot of them can work for you. They are proven time and time and time again that they work. And I'm living proof that they work. So with that, I, I just want to tell you guys that this is our budget. Hope this helped. And here is our budget again. I'm going to give you close-up views so that you can see for yourself. It's kind of like in a little mess, but, and I'm hoping this isn't backwards. Um, I'm, I'm going to probably have to play this back to see if it is. But you can probably screenshot it. But anyways, this is our budget and it is what it is. If you, like I said, if you have any tips to get this lower, let me know. And no, I can't go to work right now. Um, I don't know if it's even going to be possible for me to work a part-time job. Uh, everybody says, well, if you're doing YouTube, that is like a part-time job. Well, it can be. It, it can be a full-time job. But I don't film all the time. And a lot of days, I'm just not able. And a lot of days, I have to stay in bed a lot. Because I don't feel good. And I hurt all over. And, you know, I have a lot of health issues, I know. And it is what it is. You, There's so many people who wind up like me. And... There's a lot of people who just don't understand. But until you've been there, you, you don't understand. But remember, I have health issues. And I have two handicapped that I help. One lives with me. The other one does not. I have three kids all together. And they all three help me in some form or some way. And thank God for my kids. And I thank God for my other family members. And I thank God for the people who has helped me. And I have friends who have helped me. I have several friends who have helped me um, with a, lo a lot of things, uh, different ways too. And I really appreciate them. I've had co-workers that's helped me. And I really appreciate them so much. So anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, be, be grateful, be blessed. I hope you have a wonderful day. And, um, bye-bye for now. And please, um, like, share, comment down below. Please subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you'll be notified of all of my upcoming videos. Bye-bye for now.